Hi, Ruronis. This is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today, on my anime VHS collection update, I'm gonna show you how much anime VHS tapes do I have for today for today's subject. I'm gonna show you where I have. Remember, a while, before we get to that. Remember a while back on my previous Viet video on my anime VHS collection, I only had like 12, but this time I'm going to show you where I have all 13 VHS tapes of anime from my anime collection. Here we are, 13 anime VHS tapes. Here we go. Okay, so here are my 13 VHS tapes of anime that I have from my anime collection. Because this is the my anime VHS collection September 2018 update video. The first one to start off with, the definitive VHS edition of Katsuhiro Otomo's anime classic. Akira. Sorry about that little thing. It's based on a graphic novel by Katsuhiro Otomo. Special limited edition full length video presentation in widescreen letterbox format. This is the English version from uh, Streamline. Yes. The Streamline picture is on it. And if you can pause it, you could read the rest on this. If you want to pause that video, and I have, and it said, and if you want to pause it, what it says on the VHS, if you want to read what it says. So yes, this is my VHS of Akira. I really want to get the Blu-ray DVD combo pack from Funimation, which has two different English dub, one with the in old English dub from Streamline, and the other with the English dub from Jinion Entertainment. And, oh yes, I forgot. Zara and I, Zarek has Akira on both DVD from Pioneer Entertainment and the Extra Thick Case one, and the Blu-ray Combo Pack one from Funimation, and the Region 2 DVD of Akira, as by far, as well. Special, and next I have is Dragon Ball Z, Bobbity Rivals. This is the uncut VHS one. This one only has, like, I believe three episodes, which is episode 214, 215, and 216. Because I really do want to get all nine seasons of Dragon Ball Z on DVD in one of those orange box sets, as well as the season sets they just put out on Blu-ray as well. Because that's how it made me become an anime collector. This is my first Dragon Ball Z VHS that I got. And the next, we got Maze on Koku Volume 1. This is the subtitled edition. Only has like two episodes. This is this was dubbed in Japanese and it has English subtitles on it. And the sticker label. As you can see. Yes, it's subtitled. It's subtitled. Whoa. I did not smell. Oh, it's collectible. Oops. Sorry. The next one here, Maze on a Koku Volume Two, on VHS. Another anime VHS tape with two episodes again. If you want to pause it. Sorry, a little brighten on there. And if you open the. This says this VHS. This is the only Maze on a Koku VHS, which is part of the screening purposes only on it. I don't know why. This is the one I got, which you don't find very often anymore. And the last Maze on a Koku VHS tape that I got is this one, Spring Wasabi. This is Volume Three, another volume of Maze on a Koku on VHS with two episodes again by far. And here's the sticker label. 
as you can see, it, it only runs like 52 minutes on three volumes. This is like one of the original Viz video releases on VHS. They're like the redundant. And I do want to get all season sets of Maison and Coco because they're out of, hard to find nowadays. And I have Ranma One Half Foul Play VHS. This is another Viz Video's original release with two episodes on it. They're like the redundant. This one I have is English dub. There is the Japanese dub with English subtitled one, which you could find it on eBay, I suppose. As you can see, it it has the sticker label. And next I have is another ROM the one half VHS because I have the season sets that I have on DVD. Here's another this is my fiance the cat. This is part from the season alternate name for the season numbers on ROM one half. Out of control, which is the so called which is season three, the so called out of control. Two episodes on the back again. Because there's only like two episodes on this VHS. Yes. Because this is like the redundant, that's why. Oh yes, Foul Play on VHS is basically ROM one half. Anything, oh. Anything Goes Martial Arts. It says Anything Goes Martial Arts on it. This is like the redundant, that's why. This is before they put out the season sets in 2003 and the remastered season sets in 2014. And I have Ranma One Half Me on my concubine. This is the only Ranma One Half VHS I did. If you haven't watched my anime review on Ranma One Half Me on my concubine, I'll probably put the link in the description down below if you want to watch my review. And as you can see, the sticker label, it's the same thing like, just like my other VHS of Ronmo one half. As you can see, Ronmo one half Neon My Concubine is available on the Complete OVA and Movies, the, the movie collection one, the remastered one they just put out, because this is the only one I have by far. And next I have is Ruroni Kenshin, Legend of Kyoto. This is Volume 9, which is Between Life and Death. This is the English dub on it. This is like one of Anime Works, Media Blasters, original vol single volumes. They're like the redundant, that's why. Because I, ha I have all the season sets that are all three that I have on my anime collection. As you can see, there's the sticker label. It runs like 100 minutes. I love this sticker label a lot. This is something what you find at a video store. If you love anime on Toonami, you'll probably want to know this series. It's probably my favorite. And this one I got here, as to throw that in, is this one, Transformers the Movie. Because Transformers the Movie's out on DVD and Blu-ray. I'll probably upgrade to the DVD Blu-ray combo from Shout Factory, because this is the one I have on VHS. This is from Kid Rhino Home Video, where it has a Spike's Oh Shit line on it. For the Family Home Entertainment VHS release of Transformers the Movie from 1986, they removed Spike's Oh Shit line and Ultra Magnus's Damn It line. The Family Home Entertainment does has removed the profanity, but however, for this one, I like I have does have it because I got this tape a while back at um, Media Play, I believe it was. I'll probably get it on DVD Blu-ray combo from Shop Factory because it is an anime. Because I can tell it is an it is anime because it's made in 1986. That's why. Next, we got a couple of these movies from Mamoru Oshii. The first two, Yurusai. Yurusai Yatsura, Mamoru Oshii movies. Let's start off with this one, Only You. This is the only VHS from Anime Ego on it. As you can see, sorry for the color, the, the lighting on it. 
I don't know why. Oh, there we go. If you want to pause it, you can read what it says on this VHS tape back cover. This did came with a liner notes on it. I don't feel like pulling it out because I'm running out of time, that's why. But this is the only Urusai Yatsura movie from Anime Ego. And next I have is this one. Urusai Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer. As you can see, it is only released by U.S. Manga or Central Park Media. Urusai Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer is available on Blu-ray from Discotech Media, which I'll probably upgrade, it, upgrade to as an anime collector because... This is the only one I have. If you want to pause it and read what it says. Because this is the only, the last Urusai Yatsura movie which Mamoru Oshii directed. Because Mom which, these are the only two Urusai Yatsura movies which are considered the best of the two. This is what Mamoru Oshii had a lot to do with after he directed only 109 episodes of Urusai Yatsura. I know Chris Struckman has both Urusai Yatsura Only You and Urusai Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer on DVD in his anime collection if you want to watch his video, which I'll probably put the link in the description down below. Because the, the first two Urusai Yatsura movies have helped to have seen the show. If you just watch only these two movies of Urusai Yatsura without watching the Urusai Yatsura TV series, you're missing out on that classic anime from Rumiko Takahashi because you do not know what's going on. Okay, the last one to cover up my anime VHS collection is this one. Vampire Hunter D. As you can see, it has the Not For Kids sticker label. Boom, it has that little Streamline Pictures logo on it and Orion Home Video. See, here's the spine. And the, the, the top lip where it says Vampire Hunter D. And the spine again. You can still see it says Video Comics. And on the back, the first animated horror film for adults. This is directed by Toyo Washida, who did the Fist of the North Star anime series in the movie. Okay, this covers up my... This is... Oh, I'll probably uh, get Vampire Hunter D on DVD and... From Urban Vision Entertainment because it has the old English dub from Streamline on it, and I'll probably upgrade it to the Blu-ray which has the new English dub from Sentai Filmworks. But this is Vampire Hunter D on VHS. That's it gonna be it for my anime VHS collection September 2018 update. So thanks for watching. I hope you like this video because before we get to this, I was gonna, sh you know what I mentioned about Yurisayat Sura. Because Chris Struckman only has, like, the only two Urusai Yatsura movies on DVD, which is Urusai Yatsura Only You and Urusai Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer. Oh, Frosty Bros has Urusai Yatsura Beautiful Dreamer. No, no, not Beautiful Dreamer. Urusai Yatsura Only You. Sorry, I get confused. Because this friend's got a kid got a hold of this. But my thoughts on these two... These are the only two Urusai Yatsura movies directed by Mamoru Oshii, that's why. Because I considered Urusai Yatsura movies to be the best of the two, because it's what ha Mamoru Oshii had a lot to do with. Because these are the only two movies which you should be watching while you're watching the Urusai Yatsura anime TV, anime TV series. Help subscribe for content. My anime plant link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter. If you have Twitter, you can share this video on your Facebook. If you have Facebook, you can press my notifications bar on my YouTube channel. You be sure to read the notifications. Be sure to subscribe to Ruroni K95. And that's it. So keep it otaku for this video. Video. And that's it. Because I cannot say like, subscribe. Because we were running out of time. Because I don't want my video to be like 16 hours. So that's it for my anime VHS collection in September 2018 update video. I hope you like it. So please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. 
and sayonara.